I'm going to do this without the aid of a computer. <laughs> I didn't actually smash it by the way, but I do apologise that I couldn't get to get it to work live on Sunday evening as promised. I mean, I was 15 minutes in uh, before I found out that uh, nobody could see anything because the, apparently there's a delay from what I say and by the time you get to hear it so uh, technology and yesterday I just had to have the day off oh, what a kerfuffle ah <laughs> <laughs> Burgess watching what's the German word for kerfuffle that'd be interesting <laughs> all right well I, I promise to answer these questions uh, the ones that I, I didn't get round to uh, answering the other day and uh, I, I hope everybody's doing okay um, during this difficult times the coronavirus and um, I've got to share this with you it just made me laugh it only came through a few minutes ago so Spielberg can you get that can you see that yeah. is that better <laughs> so, well you made me laugh there's lots more of those I'm sure you've all seen them but anyway on to the questions and again apologies for but I had to have a day off yesterday uh, from computer screens and that so one of the questions I didn't know all of these I didn't get around to answering but let's start with Willie K good evening Willie I hope you're watching um, but you'll be able to play this uh, when you catch up but you asked me, was there any reason why we didn't use Rodney on Brand New Morning and Breath of Life? They stick out a mile from the rest. Suspect it was cost. Um, Rodney, I, obviously Rodney Matthews, and you're talking about the artwork. Um, I didn't choose these, so I wasn't privy to the conversation or the decision that uh, got them. But I do suspect at that time, we we don't not long reformed, that, that uh, budget would have had a part of that so thanks Willie for that <clears throat> Neil Goldsmith there Neil how you doing how did Roger Taylor become involved with Magnum if my memory serves me right I think our manager at the time a guy called Keith Baker had met a guy called Jim Beach who, who's since uh, departed RIP Jim who was Queen's manager at the time and they got talking and Roger got played some Magnum material uh, we were looking for a producer and um, Roger loved it he came to one of our shows at Hammersmith and uh, funnily enough he came up with a great quote which I think I put in my, my last book Roger said Roger Taylor said it's worth going to see Magnum just for the endings and that, that was Roger Taylor so I I hope that sort of answered it. Thanks for the question, Neil. Okay, on to Copey, Paul Cope. Hey, Paul, look forward to seeing you when all this nonsense is over. Uh, and Paul says, um, Hello, King Mark of Wolverhampton. God bless you. Well, thank you for that. God bless you and Mo. Thank you for that, Paul. Mark, I'd like to ask, what classical piece of music would you happily do your final bon voyage to? How far Jerusalem? I'll, re I'll read that again. What, uh, what piece of music would you happily do your final bon voyage to How Far Jerusalem? See you there, hopefully, but not too soon, though. Um, it's a good question, Paul. I don't like to think about uh, funerals, and let alone my own. Um, not that I'd be aware of it. But there are two pieces of music. My favourite piece of classical music a modern day composer Claude Debussy and Claire de Lune would be up there as probably one of my favourites classical um, but a classic song is Somewhere Over the Rainbow you know, Tommy Emmanuel Australian guitarist did a beautiful version of that but I would want Jeff Beck's version because Jeff's my favourite guitarist so I hope that's answered that and uh, I hope as you say it's not too soon now thanks Paul see you soon I hope Caroline Wilcox, hey Caroline, you wanted to know the drink that was behind me and my first question and answers uh, session, was it Tenant Super? Uh, no sweetheart, um, that's too much for me, 
Um, maybe, maybe 30 years ago, I'd have probably uh, blown the top off a couple of those, but no, no, uh, just sugar-free pills. But thanks for the question. <clears throat> Matt Summerscale. Hey, Matt, how are you doing? Um, am I in touch with Wally? Um, no, I'm not. Um, Wally lives in Spain, not far from uh, Malaga. He runs uh, a cyclist bed and breakfast um, establishment. Well, he did do the last time I spoke to him. And the last time I spoke to him, sadly, was uh, after Kex had died. And I managed to track Wally down to, to tell him about it. So, uh, no, I'm not in touch with Wally at the moment. And that was the last time I spoke to him. But thanks for the question now. Christina Bond, is there any Magnum song you wish you had played live? Um, ha, maybe the two last albums that I'm not on, but sadly that was not going to be. Um, apart from one or two off the early albums, which we may even cover with Kingdom of Madness, I think I've pretty much played them all live. But I do have a favourite one to play live, and you all know that's Tall Ships. Um, yeah, Tall Ships. There's a couple actually. It would have been nice to have done some of those rock and roll ones off rock art, but uh, there's not one song, there's too many songs. So, uh, but thanks for the question. Vince Roberts, Vincent Roberts. Uh, have I ever met Rick Waitman or Tony Banks? Uh, no, and neither have they met me. Uh, <clears throat> funnily enough, I've spoken to Tony Banks, <laughs> um, and that's nothing to do with me. Uh, as a keyboard player, but my wife, Mo Spielberg. Good evening, Mo. Good evening. Um, quite a few years back now, Mo was asked to do the um, Mike and the Mechanics tour, which was uh, Mick Rutherford, um, which went on for I think about eight or nine months, and I then she see. was asked to go on to a full world Genesis tour. Uh, Spielberg uh, was asked to um, do the Genesis tour also and I briefly spoke with Tony Banks about it but Mo declined because we had tender children and she wasn't prepared to leave her kids for anything like that amount of time but uh, hell, it was a good offer though so that sounds like thanks Vince uh, Neil Edwards will I be doing another question and answers Yes, if there's enough questions, but uh, yes, I'm doing one now, so there we go. Kevin Deegan. Hi, Kevin. Is there anyone I see as my greatest influence? <clears throat> uh, to narrow it down to one person would be difficult, but if I had to, I would say my dad. Uh, I was brought up in a, a musical family. Well, my dad was musical. He, uh, if, if you've been to one of my Evening With shows, or indeed... Uh, bought my first book um, early on in the book I talk about my father and his influence he was a big band swing drummer and I was taught drums etc etc so uh, I would have to give that to my dad as being my greatest influence uh, thanks for the question um, Ryan uh, Dan Holstrand from Sweden hey Dan and uh, a similar question also from Graham Thompson which said, any fun memories of Sweden 83 with Phil Linnet? I can only answer that by saying read my book because there's so many. I mean, one of my favourite memories, or fun memories, um, was uh, we were playing Stockholm at the uh, the big park there, the um, Grana Lund, and they opened the fun fair for us just for the band, Phil and the band, and so we had... Uh, we could go on any ride as many times as we wanted and there was nobody else in the park so that's a great memory uh, again that's in my book too but thanks for the question uh, I will go to my grave with fond memories of Phil I promise um, Alex Reimer uh, actually I'll come on to that because it's a longer question I'll come back to that uh, um, Alex thanks um, Mary Croucher, why is Chris Uzi not on the next tour? Good question. Chris Uzi is one of my favourite singers. Um, he was my first choice in the band when I put the band together. And the door is always open. We have a wonderful new singer, 
Tony Martin, ex Black Sabbath, and the Alliance. Uh, and I go back a long way with Tony, so it's nice to be in a band with a good friend as well. And also with M3, I've toured all over Russia with Tony. Um, but the reason Chris Hoosey is not on the tour, he couldn't commit that far ahead because he's got a solo CD, which I think he's almost finished, so that'll be coming out soon. Um, he's also got shows with Snake Charmer now and again, uh, obviously when the virus uh, situation is over. And so he couldn't commit that far ahead, so I understand. But the same with Chris, the same with Neil Murray, he had the same situation, the same with Lawrence. Um, the door is never shut to those guys, we're all great friends, they were my first choices in the band and you know they'd be welcome to come and guest with us or in the event of one of the other guys not being available they'd be the first person I'd ask so who knows but our band is set at this moment in time and uh, Tony Martin is our singer thanks for the question am I doing Spielberg okay mm -hmm. okay <laughs> I need a drink I'm getting a bit thirsty cheers Uh, Neil Goldsmith again. No, Neil. How did it feel with the dizzy heights of Wings of Heaven then going on to Goodnight LA? That's a bit of an ambiguous question that, but nothing happened overnight for Magnum. It may have seemed like that to a lot of other people, but you know, I've still got long vivid memories of going up and down motorways in a van or in any vehicle we could get hold of just to play. So. <clears throat> I think the first big moment when I thought we're getting somewhere was when we headlined Hammersmith for the first time. I think it was a thousand people in there. There was nobody in the balcony, but we were looking up there and pretending there was. Uh, um, that was a big thing to headline Hammersmith for the first time. That was probably one of the most exciting things. As for Wings of Heaven and Good Night LA, we went on to do... NECs and Wembleys and um, which is a great thing to have in your uh, CV but Hammersmith Odeon it's personal you can see the faces whereas playing an NEC or a Wembley arena is it's the people are miles away you don't feel like you're in the same room so um, I hope that sort of answered that Alan Bell <laughs> he's the man playing guitar with Kingdom of Madness can I have a t-shirt? <laughs> Next gig, man. <laughs> nice one, Al. Sure, I gave you one anyway. <clears throat> anyway, Graham Eels. Ah, well, it's a sort of a similar question to what uh, Neil Goldsmith asked a few seconds ago, which, uh, well, he didn't ask it a few seconds ago, it's the one I read out a few seconds ago. Will Chris Uzi ever return to Kingdom of Madness or Lawrence Archer or Neil Murray? Well, if I can refer the gentleman to the question I answered earlier, the door is wide open, uh, especially in the event of one of the present band not being available for whatever reason. These are the first guys I'd call, I promise. So uh, who knows? Peter Westerham. Hi, Peter. Why did Phil say that me and John Sykes were brothers uh, back there in uh, <coughs> Sweden, back in 1983? I, I guess it was because we both had long blonde hair. Um, Phil had never said the same thing twice at the show, so I, he was just so good at saying stuff. Um, and he, called, he also called us his Vikings, which was sort of poignant to Scandinavia. So, um, yeah, that's why he called me... Uh, me and John Sykes brothers. Mind you, he used to call Mo Spielberg his sister, so uh, ha! You never knew with Phil. Graham Moore. Hey Graham, how you doing? Um, would the other band members consider doing a QA? and I'm sure uh, they would. I'll put it to them. Um, Richard would probably be the first to uh, put his hand up with the confidence of Mr. Richard Bailey. Um, Mickey, I'm not sure, but I'll find out. Um, so I can't answer that question right now, but I will put it to them. Thanks, Graham. Yal, Sweden, Yal Zalfist. Uh, I can never say it. 
you must send me a, a recording of how to pronounce your name yeah but uh, any more evening with shows <clears throat> I'd love to do more evening with shows they were such great fun uh, I couldn't have done them incidentally without the uh, the help of my wife and her wonderful voice uh, and Roger Faust and the wonderful guests that turned up Richard Lawrence Spike oh several uh, I'd love to do them again and who knows what will happen after this uh, Miley Cyrus but we'll see but I would like to do them again so yes um, Graham Thompson what's my favorite memory of Phil Linnett um, Phil used to come and stay with with me and Mo at the weekends just to get out of London and I remember taking him into a tiny little pub in Bilston near Wolverhampton which had jazz on a Sunday and uh, that turned a few heads. I've just got too many memories of Phil and the happiest ones are all catalogued in my book so uh, if you haven't got the book get on my website and order one. <laughs> thanks Graham. I'm, I'm, um, sorry. Yeah thanks Graham for that. Alex Reimer. Hey Alex how you doing? Uh, I tried to I started to read your question out earlier but it was longer than I thought so here we go. Ali Trauma, good evening Mark, good evening to you. Great to see you. Please can you tell us what happened with regards to the relaunch of Grand Slam? You seem to be steering the ship and then all of a sudden disappeared from the project. I was really looking forward to seeing you as part of that. But of course I'm delighted to see you in KOM. Well thanks for the question Alex and I'm delighted to be part of KOM which was the first thing um, I've really put a lot of time and effort into and indeed Lawrence was was my choice of guitarist at the time. Um, I don't know, Lawrence uh, apparently came up with the money to finance the album, I went and happily played on it etc etc uh, and then I wasn't required whether that was a financial reason or not I don't know but all I can do is uh, ask Lawrence, I really don't know. Anyway thank you for the question Alex and I Sorry, I couldn't answer it any more uh, explicitly than that. Um, Johan Wiesman, good evening, Johan, um, in there in Sweden. Will KOM play in Sweden after the COVID 19? Um, <laughs> sounds like a band, doesn't it? Will we play after COVID 19? No, they've got to go on before us. <laughs> Sorry. Will we ever play in Sweden? Uh, yes, all we need is a promoter that wants to stick his neck out and get us over there. And we'll do as many shows as we're offered. So, all you guys in Sweden, try and find a promoter that wants us, and we'll we'll be there. Thanks for the question. Um, I think that's got all the questions answered. Um, oh, apart from one here, uh, which is when did I start to feel things were not like they used to be? Well. <laughs> I guess that refers to Magnum. Um, you'll have to wait for my second book. I can't answer it in a question uh, in one uh, sentence. But, um, it sort of started to go wrong when I bought a book out. Don't ask me why. And, you know, it was quite hurtful that I wasn't allowed to sell them at the gigs and stuff like that. So that sort of left a bit of a sour feeling. But it's a lot more involved than that, so you'll have to wait for the next book. So that's the questions now. So thanks very much for all the questions. Uh, I would like to um, just a little tribute to a great friend of ours that sadly passed away, lost his fight against cancer a couple of weeks, well, uh, just over a week ago. And without him, I might not have met Spielberg. So Roy Williams, RIP Roy, we loved you. And indeed what a great lost little Richard. Unbelievable character, massively influenced on rock and roll and uh, I did get the chance to meet him and get his autograph so uh, RIP little Richard. And if I can just say thanks to the guy on YouTube that instantly does the one dislike every time I put something up. I know who you are, you pathetic. Um, now on a happier note the Black Rabbit CD, which is Richard Bailey, Brian Baddams, uh, Mickey Barker, uh, Rick on guitar. On, on, I'm not sure exactly how many people are on this, but it's well worth 
checking this CD out, get onto Richard's page and find out how to get it. There is a link on his page, but the Black Rabbit CD, please get that. And uh, I'll get some more prizes up for this month's raffle. So that's open. Check that out on my group page. Uh, and until then, <sighs> can I have the night off now, Spielberg? <laughs> Thanks for all the questions. God bless. Stay safe. And uh, remember... Ha, <laughs>